Hi, so what you see on your video screen right now, it's some fairly typical television entertainment electronic equipment, like a home theater system, a DVD movie player, a gaming console, and even a small television set-top box. And welcome to our channel, All About Home Electronics, where in this video, if you want to conceal your equipment behind a wooden cabinet door or put it behind the TV, we're going to show you how you can keep using your current remote control by installing this very simple remote control IR repeater. We're going to start right after this. Okay, so what you're looking at right now is three different types of remote control systems. And to begin this process, you need to know which type of remote control signal your remote is using. The first one on the right, it's application-based. It works off your Wi-Fi. We're not discussing that one here. This one is often a remote control that will come with a satellite or cable television set-top box. And oftentimes the remote control works off of an RF signal, radio frequency. That signal does go through wood or other solid objects. We're not discussing that one either. The one that's left is a fairly typical television remote and it works off of an infrared signal. If you're not familiar, infrared is a spectrum of light that the human eye doesn't see. However, your smartphone camera can see it and here's how you test it. Just point the end of the remote control right at any camera like the one on your phone and press any button on the remote. You see that light flashing? That's an indicator that this remote control works off of infrared and a remote control infrared repeater is what you'll need. Okay, so what you're looking at right now, this is the remote control IR kit that we're going to be using in our example video. And most remote control IR remote kits are very simple to set up because they're plug and play. Simply connect the wires, there's no programming necessary, and you're up and running. Now, it consists of this main box uh, which the IR receiver, the device that you point your remote at, uh, plugs into one side and then your infrared emitters which connect to your equipment behind the cabinet door or behind the TV connects on the other side. And of course, like anything, you have to plug in your simple power. But again, it's all plug and play. Now for example purposes, we're just going to plug things in right here in the open. Of course, you would want to conceal your wires uh, behind whatever means you had necessary, but the jacks are very simple to plug in. Now in the case of this particular kit, they also supplied a USB 5 volt cable, so if you have a service port on your equipment that will output 5 volts to power this, you could use that as well. And so, of course, you'd want to plug that into an electrical source. And this, as I mentioned, is the IR receiver window. This is the device that you would want to conceal somewhere beneath your TV and uh, but still have direct line of sight access for your remote control to point at it. I want to note, if your television is a plasma TV, the uh, output of a plasma TV could interfere or interrupt this from receiving your IR remote control signal. So when you're placing it, you might need to try a few different locations. But oftentimes you can conceal it right under your equipment, your TV, where you won't see it. Now, I don't know if you can pick this up on your video screen or not, but these are the IR emitters. So this is where the infrared signal goes into the window of your equipment. And when I say window, the old uh, dated Xbox 360 has an IR window very visibly shown right here. So you would remove the two-sided sticky tape and place it right atop of that window right there. But in the case of our other equipment, the IR window is not always uh, readily available or readily visible to the eye because a lot of times the equipment's a gloss black color. And if you shine your flashlight camera onto the face of the equipment, you'll find that the IR window is back there. It's usually round. 
Uh, and if you can't find it, you can look up the owner's manual for that particular piece of equipment and the owner's manual will show you where the IR window is located. Now just a couple other things to note before we wrap up. This particular IR repeater kit can support up to three infrared receivers. Typically you won't need that many. You might want to purchase additional IR receivers to plug into the kit depending upon your setup. And if we turn it and look on the reverse side, here we see that it will support up to six emitters. And as I showed you earlier, each cable actually contains two emitters. So six times two would be 12. This kit could support up to 12 pieces of television home entertainment equipment. If you have any questions, please post them in the comments below the video. Here are a few video links we hope you might find useful. If you like this video or it helped you, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe free to our channel. Thank you for watching. Have a great day.